All right, welcome back to another episode of Riding with Mr. Buck. Today's episode two. Uh, last episode, episode one, we talked about uh, collecting stories. We talked about uh, those story ideas being trouble moments in our life. So that could be like when you got in trouble. I use an example that's kind of a silly one. And it's when I decided I would break some soap to show my dad. Wow, did I show him. Really, all I found out was that I was being a bad friend because I blamed it on my friend when my dad confronted me. And that's really where my trouble came in. Trying to decide, should I keep the lie going and risk my friendship? Or tell the truth and risk my dad being upset with me? I know, it was a tough choice. So, today, we're going to move on from thinking of moments where we got in trouble to something a little bit different, but I want to encourage you to continue to think of moments where you got in trouble, because one of the most important things we can do when we are writing stories is think about uh, things that have happened to us because it allows us to have a character who's about the same age as we are. So, let's go ahead and get started with our new one. Oh, there it is. You didn't have your running bills out. Here's your opportunity. And remember, you are totally fine to do this in a Google Doc. I'm not going to take points away, because guess what? None of this is crazy. Bring them out, 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 kill. So, Fiction bring Writing, bring Episode 2. Conflicts, Characters, Face. Okay, so what's the big idea here? Um, Well, if you're in your journals or in your doc, right now I want you to take an opportunity at the top to give yourself a title that says Conflict, Characters, Face. And why don't we get my fancy little pointer here? Yes, we like that pointer. Conflict, Characters, Face. And then in the top right corner, go and put Episode 2 because this is only our second episode. If you're someone who really likes to follow along with that table of contents, I would encourage you to put that there too. That way, if I ever say, hey, go back to the section about conflict characters face, you can go to the very beginning of your journal, see what page that was or what episode it was, and then go find it. If you're following along on your Google Doc, You can actually make yourself a table of contents if you're just going to keep this in one doc. If you're making separate documents for each episode, then at least make sure that you name each document Conflict Characters Face Episode 2 or Collecting Trouble Moments Episode 1. That way, when you look in your folder that hopefully you're making for online school, you can go ahead and find those episodes because I will refer back to them. Okay, so you've written that at the top of your paper online, digitally, or in your handy dandy notebook. And below that, why don't you go ahead and now write the big idea in there. Today's big idea is that writers set their character up to face tough issues. Now, Timing wise, if I'm just going way too fast for you to write some of these things down, you're allowed to pause the video. So feel free to do that. I'll still be here waiting when you finish pausing. Okay, so we want to make sure that we set our character up to face tough issues. And the reason why is what it says below. Having conflict for characters creates opportunities for that character to change. Character change. That is a very easy way to see that we've had a life lesson. And we know our stories are all about life lessons. Most good stories have a life lesson. I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head that don't have a life lesson. I can't. Harry Potter has a lot of life lessons. 
Each book has a life lesson, not to mention the overall story has a life left less life. Oof. Did I just, just discover a tongue twister? Either that or I just can't speak. Both of those are quite possible. But even the whole story arc of Harry Potter has a life lesson, and that is that love conquers all. Okay, so in your journals, you've written down the big idea. If you wrote down the why, great. You don't have to. But today's lesson hopefully goes quicker. So hopefully that works better for you then if you're writing everything down. So where do we go from here then? We want to make sure that we're collecting stories today that have a conflict that creates a change in our character. So connection. And you hear me talk about Harry Potter a lot because it was the book series for me as a child, not just for America, for me. I didn't read it because everyone else was. I read it because I finally found a book I cared about. So when I think about fiction and a lot of people think about fiction, first of all, we go to fantasy or stuff that's really obviously made up. That's a very common thing to think. However, fiction, I'll remind you, can also be real life events that we struggle with. And I know in my life, when I was in sixth grade, even though it wasn't at the middle school, I had so many struggles. And I can think of one that I really struggled with when I was a sixth grader, just like you. Bullying. I know we hear about that an awful lot. And my example for bullying is, well, maybe one you remember sharing, uh, me sharing with you. And that is when I wouldn't let another student borrow my colored pencils. I know there's quite a few of you who thought to yourself, oh, yeah, pff, that happens to me all the time. I only let my friends and myself use it. I know that's what I thought, too. I thought that that's all I needed to do. But another student did not take kindly to that. So what do I need to write down? Colored pencil. Sixth. I'm writing it down like that because I will absolutely remember that that's the story I'm talking about. So when I was a sixth grader, a student wanted to use my colored pencils and I wouldn't. They told on me and we probably gave them a harder time than we should have or wouldn't let them play with us when we really probably should have said, hey, yeah, that's fine. You can play with us. Um, because he was just looking for a friend, like all of us are. So my small moment story has to do with bullying, because in life we have these things we struggle with, and bullying is one of them. Allowing other people to fit in and uh, not being rude or mean towards them when they're trying to do that. I'm trying to think of some other small moments I might have that were things I struggled with. Hmm. I think a lot of us can relate to this, our appearance. So when I was your age, I was the biggest kid that anyone knew. My brother that was two years older than me was a lot smaller than me. And because of that, I felt awkward at times that I was way bigger than everyone else. I think it's safe to say I probably got made fun of sometimes for it. And there were some times where people would kind of challenge me in some ways to a fight or want to be really physical with me and pushing me around just because they wanted to see if I was as tough as my size would make them believe I was. So I'm going to write down appearance. Struggling with being big. And this could be me thinking of a moment in time specifically where, let's add on to this, where, because that's not a very specific moment. Me struggling to be big or with being big. There's a lot of moments that I could think of. One specifically actually took place in eighth grade. And that was when I played football. They wouldn't let me play in any games because that's how big I was. I was so much bigger than everyone else. I was so much above the weight limit that there was no shot of me ever playing. So I practiced 
every game that season. I think that that is something that a character definitely would struggle with. Practiced football. And I'll know that that's what I mean. I'll put an eighth grade in there just in case too. Good. So right now, you've seen me come up with a, a couple examples from my childhood where I say, oh, yeah, I, I struggled with my appearance. I struggled with being a bully. And, you know, in this appearance one, it was actually me kind of struggling sometimes with getting bullied. And that can happen. So right now, take an opportunity to write your small moment examples down here and try to use telegraphic writing like we do. Colored pencil sixth. If you just saw that, you wouldn't have any idea what it meant, but I know what it means. Practice football eighth. I know. I know for sure what that means. So right now, take a moment to record your examples and pause the video when you do so. Okay. So, right now, we are going to move on to our next slide, and we're going to practice writing a blurb for one of these, because that is sort of like how we get our, our story ready to go. And if I go on to the next slide, I'm ready to do my blurb writing. So, let's see here. Which one should I do? Because I'm going to write it fresh right in front of you. I am going to choose when I was being the bully. So I'm going to say, and now it's our character wants. So let's see. I'm going to just stick with my name for now so it's not confusing. Jonathan. Yeah, I know. Some people actually called me that back then. Not very many, but some. Jonathan wants to share his pencils with his friends who, you know, I should say to share his pencils exclusively with his friends. However, someone else, um, however, another student in his class and I could put his real name but I'm gonna leave that out just like I hope you would if I were to actually end up writing this story I would instead of another student want to put that student's name however another student in his class asked him to use the pencils. Huh. Sometimes my keyboard just doesn't do what I want it to. Asked him to use the pencils. Jonathan refused to let him use the pencils. So and now I feel like I need to say the other student's name. So I'm just going to go back to my old standby name I used in episode one, and that's Chris. So Chris told on him to the teacher. Finally, Jonathan ends up in the principal's office. I know you're saying to yourself, what? He told on you for not letting him use his pencils, and so you got sent to the principal's office? There is a lot more to the story than just that. This is why this is a bit of a tease. It's our blurb. I'm giving sort of the big points here. So finally, Jonathan ends up in the principal's office, where he must decide whether to tell the truth and accept the consequences or make the other student look bad. I guess you'll have to tune in to find out what I decided to do, huh? And remember, since this is a fictional story, I don't have to do what I said I did back then. I don't have to tell the truth. Or, or did I tell the truth? 
at this point, it doesn't actually matter because I'll be able to decide. So this is me practicing another blurb. At this point, I've already got two stories that I've got really clearly thought out ideas for. And if I were to go to the next step from writing this blurb, I would go ahead and create a scene just like I did yesterday. But I don't want to take up any more of your time because you need a lot of time to write and probably less time having to listen to my voice. Tomorrow, or maybe it's today, whenever you come to our episode two Zoom, be prepared to share. We're going to go around sharing one by one. Be prepared to have five to six different blurb ideas. I'm sure that one of them you'll feel most strongly about. In addition, try to have at least three scenes that you've taken from each of those different blurbs. So one scene, maybe from one of the blurbs, and another scene from a different one, and then a third scene. So I'm not saying three scenes per blurb. Just choose maybe your three best blurb ideas and do one scene for each one of those. And remember, our scene is right in the thick of it. It's right where that problem is taking place. And we start with dialogue or small actions. I know that you are going to do a great job with this. You're going to be ready to come prepared tomorrow to share the awesome writing that you've done. And I'm really excited to hear it. I was excited to hear a few, few students share in their Zoom yes, uh, for episode one but I know that we're going to have more. All right. This has been Riding with Mr. Rock Dashel. I hope you're enjoying this. Feel free to send me feedback. If you have any thing that you'd like to complain about or anything that you'd like me to do differently or something that you think uh, I'm doing really well. I mean, it's okay to say nice things to me. You don't always have to point out all the things I'm doing wrong, I know, I'm just kidding, okay, we'll see you soon.